So, it's time for me to go to work. Actually, what time is it? Oh my god, I think I got all the time in the world. I think I got like 10 minutes. Okay. For whatever reason, I just thought I wanted to wear makeup today. I don't know why, because I normally don't. But before I actually try to do something to my hair, I want to see if I want to wear a headband. I want to see what they look like. Before I style my hair and mess it up trying to get these on there. Let me see. I thought about wearing this one. And I didn't know. I should put it over the braids or put it over the twist. Or if I should wear it at all. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe like that. Maybe like back there. I don't know. I haven't worn that one yet. I haven't worn this one yet either. And I bought this a long time ago. What do you think? You think I'm tripping? Mm. I never worn this. I thought it was super cute um, before I got it. After I got it, I thought it might look kind of juvenile. I'm super, my face looks a lot younger than I actually am. So that probably wouldn't help much. But I love this one. I've worn this a couple times and I just got it a couple weeks ago. These things have had forever, but I really do like this one. I might wear this one. I think I will. Okay. Anyways, all I did was, um, this was already braided from Thanksgiving. I just put a couple of big twists in this. Um, I'll put pictures up. Ooh, if I can get my mouth out. I'll put pictures up of how I wore my hair yesterday. All I'm going to do on the braids is take a little bit of extra virgin coconut oil and smooth it over. I mean, that's literally, literally it. So all I'm going to do is that. Yeah. Smooth that over. Um, I take some of my aloe vera gel, which I love. Just smooth it on my fingers and put some on my edges. I prefer this over anything over jam, over, I don't know, whatever other kind of gel you use, because it's not like a real gel. It doesn't harden at all. It doesn't flake up or build up or flake off. or It doesn't do anything except flick my edges. And if I have time, sometimes I'll smooth this on and then tie a scarf around it, and then you take it off 15, 20 minutes. I mean, them edges, they're, they're laid, baby. They're laid. And I love that. <coughs> I used to put it in just to like set my um you know like my braids or something use it like that but um <clears throat> I happened to see Kimmy to use it for her edges and I thought hey that's a good idea because even though jam is better than Echo because Echo used to flake off I like it but I don't know it just leaves my hands so greasy this you don't have to wash out you can literally rub it in that's how natural and amazing it is. Anyway, I'm talking like that a lot of time. Okay. Get my fingers back in coconut oil. And just drag it across my twist. Because my twists look kind of funky right now. They were super cute last night. So I don't know what happened. I wasn't intending to do a twist out. But I have a feeling we're not going to do right. My twist outs always have some issues. So I'm not going to risk it right now because I don't have time to do damage control. So they're okay, and I'm just gonna leave them like this right now. <coughs> in the back, I left in the ponytail. Look, I can get a ponytail now, y'all. Mm. Mm. I left the back in the ponytail because I wore it pinned up all day yesterday, so my hair was stretched out, and I want to rock that stretched out look today. So, <coughs> put on a little <coughs> milk and protein olive oil lotion in my hair, which I'm just about out of this. I really like this stuff. It's awesome. And um, just before I rub it in, just kind of put it in some different places. And then rub it in. I know if I rub it in, I have to. I tend to put more. I don't want a whole lot because I don't want to weigh it down. It feels really soft and fluffy. That's, that's like the only thing. The, it is the only thing that I dislike about my natural hair is that a lot of times 
well, all the time. My hair is always soft. Always. No matter if I just took my hair out, my braids out. It doesn't matter. Like, I put good quality products in my hair, and it stays soft. It's always soft. But a lot of times, if you look at it, it just doesn't look soft. Well, to the untrained eye. Like, you know, I can see a natural and tell that her hair, most of them, <laughs> by looking at it, that it's really soft. I can see it shine. I can see the product in it. I can see that it, it looks soft. It looks healthy. But to regular people that don't know about natural hair, all they'll see is a bush. And they, they think that it's dry. And they think that it's coarse. And they think that, you know, it doesn't feel good. Like, you know, they don't necessarily want to touch it. Especially men. That's in my mind. That may not be true. But, um... And I'm just like, dude, touch my hair. My hair feels awesome. Are you crazy? And it smells delectable. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, I love the texture. I love, I love all textures of natural hair, actually. And there's different things that can be done with all of it. It's just that misconception, I guess, that illusion that it's not soft. Because boy, if you could feel my hair right now, oh, it feels so good. And I can't. That's why I need to keep it in braids. Honestly, the braids take too long. That's why I'm not doing it for right now for a little while. It just takes so long to put in and so long to take out. Um, that's the only reason I'm not doing it right now. But I probably need to get them back in because when I don't have them in, I play in my hair too much. Oh, my glycerin's on. I just play in my hair too much. I'm playing it all day. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, I didn't bring a comb. That one bright. And I'm putting some more in this. I love this. This is Lasso QP Recovery Anti Breakage Oil Moisturizer. It's the business. I'm going to just let you know. Smells good. Feels good. It really leaves my hair moisturized. And I love it. So let me grab something to kind of comb this out with. I'm not going to comb it out. I'm not going to comb it out too much because my hair is dry right now. I mean, you know, it's moisturized, obviously, but. I didn't put any water on it like I normally do. And I felt kind of uncomfortable combing it too much um, without my hair being wet. So I'm going to be really, really gentle right now. Which, I mean, it, it's, it's it's detangled, so you can comb through it, you know, without <sighs> too much damage. It just makes me nervous. Anytime I comb my hair and it's not wet, I get really nervous that I'm breaking it off. So, trying to be really careful. But I just, I want a really big look today. I want it to look huge. And I hope that doesn't fall, which is why I'm not wetting it. I normally put water on it. I'm not putting anything on it. Because I want it to look huge. I want it to look massive. As big as humanly possible. Like, Diana Ross huge. I just want it to be out there in your face. I'm in that kind of mood. <laughs> and I just want it to be BAM! I wish, and I got a feeling <clears throat> I, I heard a, not, a lot of naturals say that at the end of the day, you know, as the day goes by with the humidity, it gets bigger and bigger. I don't wear my hair out enough to really know if that's true. But it just seems to me it will start falling, get flat. Like when I was relaxing, if I wore rollers, like Throughout the day, it would get flatter, fall down. So that that's what makes sense to me. I don't wear my hair out enough to know. But I guess we'll find out today when I come home. Will it be bigger or smaller? But yeah, I want it huge. I want it super huge. I want it big in your face. In your face. If you don't know who says that, that's Leah. <laughs> Leah from the Bad Girls Club. And I don't even like her. But that checked me out. And she just kept saying, your face. Say it to my face. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's huge. And I love it. You see how huge this is? That's freaking awesome. It's huge. People might take pictures of me today, like, oh my god. Put me on Facebook. Do you see this chick with this big old afro? Oh my god, that chick is awesome. She's like freaking Foxy Queen Patrick, dude. She's like awesome. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'm tripping right now, so I think I'm going to try to put this headband on. Or maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just take these braids, twist them, 
I'm kind of thinking it may be a bad idea to stick this comb through my braids. Like maybe that's not smart. Is that smart? I don't think that's smart. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these long bobbies instead. Super long bobbies, that's what I call them. Super long bobbies. I need to go. Like, I'm going to be late. I'm just tripping like I got all the time in the world. My my job actually isn't that far from my that didn't work out. My job isn't that far from my home. I just hate being late. Like I hate when people are late. And I don't want to be one of those people that's like late. That's like freaking late all the time. And like shows up like it's no big deal. You're lame. I don't want to be lame. I like to be punctual. But today, for whatever reason, I woke up and I was like, girl, I want to wear some makeup. I want to look fierce, I want to have a big old huge afro, and I was like, by gosh, I'm going to do it, <laughs> and I didn't even wake up super early, like, if you're going to do stuff like that, you kind of need to wake up a little earlier, okay, but since I have those braids pinned like that, I probably need to wear this headband, so it'll kind of cover it, like, cover that little bungle there, so I'm going to push this back a little, so I can pull the headband over there. Right? You get me? Are you with me? And then just stick that on top of the bungle. What do you think? I think it's hot. Push it back a little so that they can still see the braids, you know. But just over that bungle. I think this is smoking hot. I think it's super cool and kind of retro. But it's jazzed up. I think this is hot. But like I said, yeah, if a person looks at it, they'll think it's like nappy and they'll think like, oh, she just woke up and went out, girl, this takes time. <laughs> and it's it's a look that you go for. It's not something you just do. Anyways, I'll just have to educate them. I'm really excited about that, though, since I went natural. A lot of my friends ask me questions about it. A lot of my friends are transitioning. I have two friends who have done the big chop. Since I went natural, and I didn't even have that courage, that strength to rock a TWA. I, I transitioned for like 10, 10 months um, before I did it. So, like, the fact that, and uh, one of the girls, Marquita, who I think is awesome, was just like, yeah, your pictures on Facebook really inspired me. And I was like, seriously? That's so awesome, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped about that. Anyways, I gotta go because I can play my hair all day. I gotta go to work. See you guys later. Peace.